Hey guys, it's Friday. I'm a creature from the vlog, and creatures in the vlog haven't said this intro in a while. Haven't made a proper vlog in a while. I apologize for that. I mean, the ukulele and silly videos with Kirsten and stuff were fun, but I felt like I haven't had too much to talk about and been kind of lazy, but I feel like I would talk to you a bit now. I am currently in my basement because me and Ja felt like being arty and put all my paintings like propped up around the basement so it's all intense and colorful and creative looking. <laughs> so hopefully maybe I'll be more um, inclined to work down here more often. But I'll give you a little tour of that. Uh, the other day I went with Ja to a one of the senior composition majors shows and um, he did some fun songs. So I did Slipping from Dr. Horrible. I wore my Captain Hammer fangirl shirt in honor of it. Um, happy Ending. I have that song from a mix that Heather made, I believe. Um, there's this, I've never heard of this BBC show called Mongrels. It's with these puppets, but it's called Nobody's Been Stabbed Here Since Friday. And it was pretty entertaining. Uh, these songs were just like arranged. So like the, the music he just redid and the happy ending was like acapella. That was really cool. But um, no one's been stabbed here since Friday. Sort of made me think of Heather. And <laughs> when I was talking to you and you would talk about how often the um, alarms would go off. And um, yeah. And um, nothing suits me like a suit from How I Met Your Mother. I've been making some weird collages for painting. I'm show you a couple. I've got a, an ivy sewer here. I'm so bad at this. Blooper fisherman. Question boxes. Cuckoos. Cuckoos. How do you say that? I never know. I like this one a lot. It's like the ghost in your guys with the, the Poe, Boo, and Haunter. Ooh. Lemonade. I mean, a uh, lemon hand grenade. Portal reference. Majora's Moon. Majora's Mask on a Puppet girl, dancey lady. I don't know. I like it. It's a real Mario. More Mario. Mario Kart. This was entertaining because I just felt like, I don't know, the, the blooper, the black part was like perfect and blue shell. I don't know. It was fun. Mushrooms. Bunny, Pikachu, Portal Slide, Star Fox, Animals, some Alistair with Jensen Eccles in it, and uh, a Skyrim for good measure. A good time to go on the little painting tour. Some of you may have seen some of these, but I'll just show you everything I have up. That one was from sophomore year, and we had to draw a space looking into another space. It's an image of a dog. This one, we had to do something extinct, and it's a quagga. It's a zebra horse-like thing, and um, some weird dreamlike background. This one's from sophomore year, just a girl with headphones, I like it. This one is from last semester, a Jay-Z descending staircase. It was from a digital 
collage. That one's one of my favourites. I call it Austin Space. It's from, also from a collage. This was a still life from sophomore year, having to do a do it in pink. Could call it a study in pink. And then we have and then we have Mario. Also from sophomore year. Heather helped me carry that one home. Still have to finish some stuff on it. It was apparently done as a painting. But I am a little uneasy with Mario not having eyeballs. So, Billy, I really enjoyed your um, dramatic reading, and I think it's a great challenge. And I'm gonna do one for you. I'm gonna do Ludo, Lake Pontchartrain, because I've always thought it was kind of dramatic in itself anyway. Tell it like it happened. It was Darius and Nolan and me. Just a few poor boys trying to get up out of misery. Took 55 to Louisiana and stopped by the highway to eat. They both had crawfish, strictly chicken for me. Back out under thunderheads, the radio was southern soul. They interrupted Clarence Carter with a strange-ass local show. They were saying, Come down to Lake Pontchartrain, rest your soul, and feed your brain. That's where you will get to see everything the water can be. The rain was coming down. The wind was howling outside of Slido. It was the kind of night that makes you think the whole world's going to hell. We got off an exit because we couldn't read the map so great near the Choctaw Motel and parked to deliberate. When out of the bayou came a man like the lake had a tongue. He was right up on the glass, all yellow-eyed, black teeth, banging on the windshield screaming like a demon at the top of his lungs. Come down to Lake Pontchartrain, rest your soul and feed your brain. Free for you and all your friends, crawfish till the bitter end. Come down to Lake Pontchartrain, wade to where the shallows break. That's where you will get to see everything the water can be. I was driving out of there as fast as a camera could, but the interstate was flooded and I had to take a road through the woods. Bad move in retrospect. The road disappeared in the rain, and I stood in the brakes when I saw the sign, Lake Pontchartrain. Darius was yelling that he saw somebody out in the swells. He jumped out running, and Nolan was going as well. Come back! Why the hell would they leave the car? And that's when I heard it. Make no mistake, the voices were calling from under the lake. Come down to Lake Pontchartrain. 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 The crawfish were screaming. The waves danced in time. My friends went in deeper and the water climbed. I watched in terror and the lake opened wide and horribly roaring, it pulled them inside. That's how it happened. Why would I lie? There are no bodies, I've got none to hide. I'm just a boy, lost his friends in the rain. Any more questions, just go and ask Lake Pontchartrain. I love that song. Yay, so I hope that was entertaining. <laughs>